Hi and welcome back to episode 12. So it's exciting to bring this next episode to you. And again, the theme is all about gratitude. Only this time I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to be grateful in the present moment. We've spoke a lot about making um, our gratitude practices, about what we're grateful for, um, the water that we drink or the food that we have to eat. And that's absolutely wonderful because we should be grateful for these types of things. We've also spoken about how to see what we can be grateful for, even in challenging situations. Now this episode today, I want to share with you a specific technique that is all about bringing the gratitude into your life right now and also experiencing it. So the more that you live it and feel it, the closer what you're grateful for will come in towards you. Now what I mean by that is, is being grateful for what you want, but in the present tense. And how I do this is, I write out a statement every day, I actually have several, and it's, I am so happy and grateful now that I have, and whatever it is that I'm hoping to bring into my life, I add that to the end of the sentence. So this is my tip for you today, is to actually write out each day what it is you're grateful for, but in the present tense for something that you're aiming for in the future. Now you'll know exactly what that is for you. Perhaps you will be writing, I'm so happy and grateful now that I have all the abundance that I need to live a really comfortable and financially stable life. Or perhaps you'll be saying, I'm so happy and grateful now that I have an abundance of friends that uh, want to spend time with me and we can do lots of fun things together. Or perhaps you want to be happy, you're happy and grateful um, now that you have an amazing career that makes you feel fulfilled on a daily basis where you get to work with your ideal colleagues or clients. You will know what's right for you, but I want you to take your time and really think about this. What it is you want to bring into your current life, right into the here and now, and write that out as what you're grateful for at this moment in time. And I want you to do this for as many days as you can until you start to see these becoming part of your life. The more you do it and the more you connect with it on a deep emotional basis, the more you will bring it into your life. Now remember as well, the brain works in great ways. It's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful tool for us to use. If you want to uh, write that you're so happy and grateful for a level of abundance in your life or the ideal career now that you're living it, your brain will also start to look for ways to help you make that happen. It's up to you to take the action. So it's great to write it out, but the action that comes off the back of it will bring all of your dreams into your reality. But if you don't know what it is that you want to have in your future, then this is the perfect way to start to think about it. Decide what you would like in the here and now, bring it in from your future, bring it to your current place in your reality and make it part of your daily life. So I want you to use that tip and I want you to apply that every single day and keep going as often as you can until you really start to see that these things have came to fruition. And trust me, it will happen if you're consistent. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode today and I can't wait to bring you your meditation next week in the final episode of this gratitude series. So if you like the content, please like, share and subscribe. Leave me a comment and if you want to know more about how to work with me or about the work that I do, you can find more information in the description box. I'll see you back next week. Bye bye for now. If you'd like to hear more about gratitude in the here and now and the present and bringing your future into your reality, hop over with the link below to my YouTube channel where you can hear all about it in more detail amongst all the other episodes in this series too. I'd love to have you over there and if you enjoy the content, remember like, share and subscribe and you can always check the description box for all the information on how you can work with me. So I look forward to having you part of my tribe and I will see you back next week. Bye bye for now.